once again everybody it's been a little bit since i've uh, been able to record and uh, here i am so now i'm gonna read you stories that's that's what's happening right now this is from uh reddit user hollow insanity it's still a cool name uh my predatory neckbeard friend oh dear hey moon horse hello and sango if you're still in florida she's not feeling well and <laughs> she's kind of behind me. <laughs> and my fellow moon herd. I hope you're doing well. I do too. I hope you guys are doing good. I have a story for you. I've been toying with sending it to you because my mother now listens to your videos. She's quite a fan. She listened to every single one of your videos. Oh, well, thank you. Hope you didn't mind the really, really bad ones when I was really drunk and things were really bad. Uh, <laughs> do you want to be part of this video? You can come over here. Right here. She's like behind me, so you guys may not be able to hear her so well. <laughs> okay. And, well, I'm not too fond of her knowing certain details of my life. I understand. I'm gonna call this guy Yugi, as all... <laughs> Yugi! A few years ago, I split from my ex. He was my first love, and honestly, it destroyed me. But we wanted different things. I wanted a life together. He just wanted different vaginas. He sounds classy. So, as you do when you're broken, you reach out to anyone for attention. And this is where I met Yugi. Sorry, I have to say that name like that. We met online and bonded over our mutual love of Yu-Gi-Oh. Apparently, we'd met before at a Yu-Gi-Oh game night where he'd given me some shiny cyber dragons. I'm a hoe for shiny cyber dragons. I don't know what shiny cyber dragons are. <laughs> Yugi looked like your typical neckbeard. I think he was only a couple inches taller than me. He was about 5'2". Honestly, this guy must have been about 300 pounds. He reminded me of Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop. <laughs> but with more chins. Going bald in his 20s, whatever hair had been on his head must have fallen to his neck, and oh, the neck beard was majestic as fuck. <laughs> Gross and highlighted his many chins. This kid looked about 40, despite being 20. I actually kind of felt sorry for him at first. He didn't stink of B.O., but he stunk of Lynx, British version of Axe Body Spray. Oh, oh. oh no. I need to point out I recognize my stupidity befriending a neckbeard, but this was before I knew about this particular breed of human. I totally understand that. I used to know a lot of neckbeards when I was like a teenager and in my early 20s, but that was before I even knew what a fucking neckbeard was. I just thought they were weirdy, weird kind of nerdy guys. Anyways, we start talking regularly, and I just want a friend, a distraction from my own misery. We became pretty close, and I considered him a really good friend. There were red flags, like a lot of them. He'd complain about not being able to find a girl, and then he was a nice guy. And then how no girl ever gives him a chance, and how they only want the bad guys. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, 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 geez. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Despite making it abundantly clear that I was hurting and I didn't want to date or even have casual sex, he kept fucking hitting on me. And whenever I'd call him on it, he'd laugh it off and say, That was just a joke. He'd constantly talk about his stupid slut of an ex who left him. <laughs> Despite my better judgment, I went down to see him. We lived hours apart. I have awful anxiety when traveling somewhere new, but no, he insisted that I had to come to him. He even put me up for the night. As he put it, we'll play some Yu-Gi-Oh and hang out. <laughs> yeah, I can see the trap now, but back then I was oblivious. As you can imagine, it wasn't just Yu-Gi-Oh that he wanted to play. Oh. Which, FYI, I kicked his ass at. Fuck yeah. We ended up doing stuff. Not because I wanted to, but because I felt like I had to. Oh, fuck. I was at least three hours away from home, in a strange city, and pretty much alone. All I had was my bus fare home, 
and the next day, I regret what he made me do. Luckily, it was never penetrative sex, not that he'd be able to feel anything because he was two inches while hard. <laughs> oh. Oh. When he showed me it the first time, I had to stop myself from laughing. <laughs> Sit burn. <laughs> <laughs> the bed he offered me was a single bed that I had to share with him. Whoa. Fucking, fucking worst nice to sleep ever. I had one eye open the entire night because I was terrified he was going to do something to me. I felt trapped and forced into something I did not want. Safe to say, I got the fuck out of there as soon as I could the next morning and I never ever went back. Three years on, I still get messages from this guy every day. He's still hitting on me despite me being in a new relationship, which Yugi likes to conveniently forget or plays it off like he's joking. He then tries to comment on the stuff that we did and how much he wants to do it again. Every single time he messages me, I can feel vomit in the back of my throat. What? The reason I wanted to share this story is because I noticed a disturbing trend of people underestimating beards. They laugh them off, but these people can and are often dangerous, manipulative, and horrible. I wanted to warn anyone who finds themselves in a similar situation with a predatory neckbeard. So please, if you take anything from my story, other than I'm a hoe for cyber dragons, <laughs> I still don't know what the shiny cyber dragon is, that you don't have to do something just because you feel forced to. Have the strength, I didn't, and kick the bastard in their tiny dick and get the fuck out. Thank you for reading this, if you got this far, and I'm sorry for this being so long. I'm very happy that you decided to share this story with us. I have said this before, and I will say it again, that neckbeards, in our experience with this channel, um, usually, not all the time, but usually are just funny, disgusting weirdos. The kind of impotent anger that leads to nothing. The kind of person who throws a temper tantrum because nobody wanted to look at their tiny pee-pee and think that they're the greatest person who ever lived. <laughs> tiny pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> there are, however, instances where, yeah, they're not funny. They're manipulative, horrible monsters. And that's exactly what this sounds like. I have read a few stories where some of these guys are basically straight up rapists Ooh. and it's fucking nightmarish so remember that even though they may look like inept weirdos and fedoras with their horrible patchy neck beards sometimes that's only the costume that the monster wears sometimes there's something far worse underneath always Always be careful, you guys. I am so fucking sorry that this happened to you, though. So know that everybody in this community loves you and supports you. And that you're not alone, man. Thank you all for being here. And I love you all. I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye.